the people's voice. The voice of the people are crying out in anger, all the while spewing venomous and hateful words back and forth, gloating over the pain and demise of another. Eyes are closed to compassion and empathy. There is an absence and inability to connect to humanity's beating heart. There has been an intentional act and desensitization that has weaved its way into the moral fiber of our family, our homes, and communities alike. Why? Because there is an absence of oneness. When we know who we are as a community, we know then what happens to one impacts us all. The oneness of who we are in God. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first commandment and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. When the foundation of love is removed from society, it is like a house built on sinking sand. The fall will be great because it has nothing solid or firm to stand upon. United we stand and divided we fall. The United States has become a divided country on many issues of politics, religion, racial inequality, and so on. Instead of rallying together as a united front, we have allowed the mighty dragon to unleash its fiery inferno of hell, causing suffering and destruction of life as we know it. Children are crying. Mothers are mourning. Men are dying. The hurting are hurting the hurting. Individuals are walking aimlessly around, exiled with no sense of belonging. Their anguished cries are thrashing to be heard on the threshing floor of justice. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you see me? These are the voices that are desperate for freedom from the bondages that have held them captive in a land of the free. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said it in his I Have a Dream speech. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed an inalienable right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note as her citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. Dr. Martin Luther King's dream was for all people. And as long as injustices ring from the mountaintop, the, the promissory note is still marked insufficient. The curse of slavery and the intended genocide of groups of people have created a ripple effect that is impacting our nation and nations abroad. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. I hear you, I feel you, I see you. I invite the hurting, the lost, the wounded, the suffering, the castaways, the misunderstood communities, elected and government officials to join me at a round table of peace. Together we can and we will heal our lands. Edie Darling, Ambassador of peace.